okay good morning to all of you i welcome to all once again in our lecture series on mathematical physics the topic is four year series so today this is our lecture number 20 lecture number 20 in last lecture we have been discussed about differentiation of four year series we discussed in our last class about differentiation of four year series uh, the conditions what should have to be followed by the four year series that we can take its differentiation that we have been discussed and also we discussed uh, this question x sin x and another question fx is equal to minus 2x and at the end i i given to you one question that you have to do by yourself that is the function is fx equal to x square which is exist in between minus 3 to 3 uh, in this question you have to find out the fourier series of this function then you have to show that this function will be differentiated this uh, uh, the fourier series of this function can be differentiated and also you have to find out the expansion of 2x which will be the answer will be this one so let's starts <coughs> with step by step of the uh, discussion of this question and in our next class we are going to discuss about integration of fourier series so in our today class we are going to be discuss this question okay let's starts so last class we have been discussed about differentiation of fourier series so how the which function is going to be differentiate what is the condition that we have been discussed and we done some uh, uh, two problems and also i given this question to you that you have to solve so this is our lecture number 20 and we are going to be uh, uh, solve this question step by step you just follow your rough in where you have been done your work and you just follow uh, today's discussion so the question is that the function is x square which is in between minus 3 to 3 to find out the fourier series of this function then we have to also identify that this series will be differentiate or not and we have to also obtain the fourier series expansion of 2x this question i have been given to you in the last question, last uh, lecture and the answer will be this one so let's let's start to first derive the fourier series of this function so here the function is fx equal to x square fx is equal to x square and we know that the fourier series in general in general in general the fourier series of any function any function fx will be equal to how much a0 by 2 plus summation over n equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus summation over 1 equal to infinity bn sin n pi x by l here in our case the l will be how much here minus 3 to 3 so here l will be 3 okay and the function here fx is equal to x square will be a even function will be a even function will be a even function that means f of minus x will be x square will be f of x so as this is a even function so its fourier series will be f of x will be how much a0 by 2 plus summation over 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l as here l is 3 so it will be a0 by 2 plus summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos 
cos n pi x by 3. So here I can suggest you that, I am going to suggest you that either you have to write your note from this whiteboard or you have to write the notes from here. Here in this page, step by step I have been written, you can also write from this page. Okay. So first we have to determine A0, AN, then we have to put over here and we are going to find out the first Fourier series, then we have to consider its uh, the uh, differentiation. Okay. So here a0 is nothing but 1 by L minus L2 L fx dx. In general, A0 we know that 1 by L minus L2 L fx dx is equal to L is nothing but 1 by L is 3. So, it will be 1 by 3 minus 3 to 3 fx is x square dx. As x square is the even function, so it can be written as 2 by 3, 0 to 3 x square dx. So, integrating of, of the x square, we can found that 2 by 3 into x cube by 3, limit is 0 to 3. So, by putting 3 over here, by limit, putting the value of the uh, limits, upper limit, it will be how much? 2 by 3, this will be 3 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 0. Okay. So, here, here 3 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2. Here, in the denominator, you can found 9. Here, in, uh, 3 into 3 is 27. So, uh, here 3, 3 got cancelled and it will be only 3. In the numerator, you, you are going to get only 3. So, 2 into 3 will be 6. So, we found that A0 will be 6. A0 will be 6. Now we have to find out A n. A n. A n. We know that in general the A n is nothing but 1 by L minus L to L f x cos n pi x by L into dx. Okay. So here a n imply that a n will be 1 by 3 minus 3 to 3 f x is cos x square into cos n pi x by 3 into dx. Okay. So now as x square is even and cos x is also even, so this whole function will be also the even. So hence we can write in this format that 2 by 3. 0 to 3, 0 to 3, x square into cos n pi x by 3 into dx. So, here you can easily apply the so called Kronecker method, Kronecker method for integration. Kronecker method, I think you all have been familiar with Kronecker method. If not, I suggest that go back, please go back to the uh, lectures around initial lectures, I, I, I detailed uh, explained the Kronecker method, you go for that and uh, um, uh, practice that Kronecker method. Here I am going to use the Kronecker method for this integration, then what we are going to find out, then it will be 2 by 3. So here, this will be considered as gx and this is phi x. Now, it will be gx, that means x square. And integration of this one, integration of this one will be cos, sorry, it will be sin <coughs> n pi x by 3 divided by n pi. Limit, limit 0 to 3. Then minus, minus g dash x. Minus g dash x means it will be 2x. It will be minus 2x. g dash x means uh, x square derivative will be 2x. 2x into integration of this one. Integration of this one means it will be minus cos n pi x by 3 n pi x by 3 whole divided by n pi square 
लिमिट जीरो टू थ्री ओके देन प्लस जी डबल डैश एक्स जी डबल डैश एक्स मीन्स ओनली टू टू इन टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस फैक्टर इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस वन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस वन मीन्स इट विल बी माइनस साइन एन पाई एक्स बाय थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एन पाई क्यू जीरो टू थ्री ओके नाउ हियर we have to put the limiting value what we are going to get what we are going to get what we are going to get <coughs> we are going to get see we are going to get 2 by 3 c here if i have to put 3 over here it will be n pi so sin any pi will be zero and sin pi also Will be zero. So this term will be zero, and like that, this term will be cancelled out. Will be equal to zero. Now we are going to get only this plus minus and here minus means plus. It will be we are going to get only one term two x into ah uh, cos n pi x ah uh, n pi x by three ah uh, by n pi square. Right. So limit. Zero to three. Now we have to put uh, limit. Then it will be two by three. Two by three into first we have to put three. Three means it will be six. Six into here cos or uh, n pi cos n pi cos n pi divided by n pi square minus zero. Because whenever we have to put the lower limit over here, this term will be zero. Hence, it is minus one. You pause the video and you write down this one, or or you can write from this page, or you can write from this page. Okay. Now <coughs> I am going to erase this side. So how much we got? There is a n. The a n we found that uh, this will be six. Sorry, uh, three four. Sorry, four into here three uh, will be divided with uh, with six means it will be two two four 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 into cos n pi by n pi square or equal to i you can write 4 into cos n pi we know that minus 1 to the power n divided by n pi square so this is nothing but our required a n here i done a simple mistake that here uh, whenever we have to do the integration over here cos n pi x by 3 it will be sin n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 and this is n pi by 3 square this will be n pi by 3 cube and this will be n pi by 3 square okay so now uh, this will be equal to how much it will be 2 by 3 into 6 into uh, 9 uh, into cos n pi by n square pi square that it will be 3 into 3 if it will be uh, divided it will be 2 uh, 9 into 4 will be 36 into cos n pi will be minus 1 to the power n divided by n square pi square so this is our required a n and this is our required a z now we have to uh, write down the fourier series of the function x square the required fourier series the required fourier series of x square will be how much a 0 by 2 that is 6 by 2 plus summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity a n a n means this much 6 36 into minus 1 to the power n by n square pi square into cos 
n pi x by l that is n pi x by l as it is l equal to 3 so we have to write over 3 so this is our required Fourier series or further simplification we can write that implies x square will equal to how much 3 plus uh, 1 to infinity uh, that is 36 into minus 1 to the power n by n square pi square into cos n pi x by 3. So this is our the Fourier series of this function. Now we have to find out the differentiation or we are going to do the differentiation of this one. First we know that to before we have to differentiate a Fourier series first we have to check the condition that it is satisfies the, that condition no, or not. The condition is that any Fourier series or the, uh, the Fourier series can be differentiate or not. For that the condition is f of minus l should have to be f of l. Okay. So here l is nothing but <coughs> l is nothing but 3. So f of minus 3 will be minus x square will be x square f of 3 will be x square also x square so hence this condition is satisfied so this one so that so that the series can be differentiated so this is the condition satisfied means the series the Fourier series can be differentiated. Now we are going to do the simple differentiation of this x series Fourier series of x square. Okay. Now we have to do the differentiation of equation number one. Suppose this is our equation number one. This is our equation number one. Now I am going to differentiate its left hand side and also right hand side. So if I am going to differentiate left hand side, this will be 2x that implies 2x. Uh, the differentiation of this constant will be 0 plus here pi square is uh, uh, 36 pi square is constant. You can take, uh, take it out outside uh, 36 by pi square and this will be the summation over n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n divided by n square into cos n pi x by 3. The differentiation of cos n pi x by 3 will be minus n pi by 3 into sin n pi x by 3. Okay. So here 1 minus is there means minus 1. Here minus 1 to the power n. So next step I have to write minus 1 to the power n plus 1. So it implies that 2x will be equal to uh, 36 by pi square um, summation over minus summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power here n another minus it will be n plus 1 divided by here 1 n and n is going to be cancelled out n will be there and here pi by 3 here another pi by 3 will be there so here pi square and pi can be got cancelled so i am going to be okay first you write pi by 3 over here and it will be sign n pi x by 3 uh, then further simplification we can get 2x will be pi pi got cancelled it will be 30 and 3 3 uh, 3 and 36 will be got, got cancelled it will be 12 by pi summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n into sin n pi x by 3 so this is masked with our answer whatever i given to you so I suggest to all of you that you watch carefully this video from A to Z, you write down your note and if you don't previously, you just match with your answer of these steps and uh, if any doubt, you can contact with me. Thank you so much.